The fourth generation Audi RS4 Avon comes with a base price the far side of £60,000 and substantial mechanical changes to the underwhelming car it supersedes. We've driven it before, on the occasion of its international launch, in Malaga, but now it's in the UK, with first deliveries scheduled for late March. Much of the new stuff is from a template set down by the latest RS5. As such, Gone is the characterful 4.2-litre naturally aspirated V8 of the old model, replaced by a twin-turbo 2.9-litre V6 TFSI. It marks a return to the twin-turbo V6. In fact, though this 2018 spec engine is slightly larger than that of the original B5 RS4 of 2000, the upshot is that combined fuel economy is up by roughly a fifth and carbon dioxide emissions are halved. That of course, is only part of the story. Downsizing has taken a good measure of weight from the nose too. This V6 is 31 kilograms lighter than the V8 and employs the hot V architecture pioneered by Mercedes OMG. The theory is that by placing the turbos within the valley of the cylinders, you truncate the engine's respiratory tract and consequently trim turbo lag. It is a mighty device too, small but explosively potent. The headline figure of 444 bhp isn't perhaps the most breathtaking but 443 pounds feet between 1900 revolutions per minute and 5000 revolutions per minute hints at brutal and sustained acceleration. The sprint to 62 miles per hour takes a claimed 4.1 seconds with top speed capped at 155 miles per hour unless you pay Audi 1450 pounds to have it extended to 174 miles per hour. There are further weight savings beyond the engine. Audi has shaved 15 kilograms from the body, 12 kilograms from the axles, 3.5 kilograms from the electromechanical steering, 12.5 kilograms from the quattro driveline and finally a solitary kilogram from the sport differential in the rear axle. You can take the diet further with optional carbon ceramic brakes, 8 kilograms, and a set of beautiful 20 inches aluminium milled alloys, another 8 kilograms, which together reduce that all important unsprung mass. All in, the B9 RS4 is up to 80 kilograms less than the car it replaces, which with any luck will be the start of a trend of lighter RS badged creations. The options list, meanwhile, is long in a way that only an Audi options list can be, but your chief concerns are whether to go for dynamic steering, 950 pounds, and the sports suspension, 2000 pounds. You might also consider the sports exhaust, 1200 pounds. Though we can tell you that while Audi is correct in its claims that the exhaust note of this new RS4 is reminiscent of the old V6 in the B5, that car's song always was a bit blunt. And then there are the looks, the overall impact of which is hugely dependent on spec. This generation of RS4 is more aggressive than the car it replaces, however, with acute angles decreases and a punch on for sporty detailing that extends even to events that shadow not only the headlights but the rear lights too. All but indistinguishable from the Mercedes OMG C63 estate in terms of its footprint, in the metal the RS4 has a hard, technocratic edge to its compatriots more than muir curves. Back to that dependence on spec in a conservative color such as never a blue. 645 pounds, the RS4 creates only a few more ripples among traffic than a well-equipped 3.0 TDI, and that'll suit many of you just fine. Opt for something more unusual, such as splendid Sonoma Green, also 645 pounds, with privacy glass and the black styling pack, 550 pounds, and your mid-sized estate will take on a distinct air of menace. However, crack on with Pearl Effect Vegas Yellow, £2,400. Fit the 20 inches anthracite twin spokers, £2,400. And top it off with the carbon black pack, £5,000, and you've got the practical equivalent of a Pagani Zonda. And something that's arguably far more effective in the real world. Does this 1.7-ton estate gel as a driver's car? For point-to-point -point security, 
It does something so quick, so unshakably incisive, and eternally predictable in its responses is inevitably going to satisfy to a degree. In the context of an estate, certainly, this level of agility is almost unnerving. However, that it can be so dramatically dressed up or down depending on your preference for specification hints at a fun-loving character that's not entirely embraced by the mechanicals, you're unlikely to exceed the RS4's limits on the road because they are extraordinarily high, and the electronics don't endorse that kind of behavior when you do. Its limits are undoubtedly higher than those of the C63 estate. And while the AMG launches a convincing riposte in the form of its soulful twin-turbo V8 and a superior handling balance, its interior is a rung below that of the RS4 both in terms of quality and ergonomics. We suspect buyers will naturally lean towards one or the other, though it'd be negligence of the first order to sign on the dotted line without driving both.